installing some Raptor style lights on the back of my Toyota Tacoma. Well, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. That's right, today I'm gonna to be installing some Raptor style lights on the back of the Tacoma. I've been looking for some kind of a solution for quite a long time, even going back to when I had the 2018 Tacoma and I finally found what I wanted. All nice and smoked or even blacked out you might say to replace these factory OEM silver, chrome, whatever lights back here. These are LEDs, they are plug and play. All you need to do this is a 10 millimeter socket and a couple of hands. That's it, so I'm gonna set you up. We're gonna go ahead, we'll run through the install. I'll show you how simple this is to do. And then we'll take a look once we have these bad boys installed on the truck. Okay, here we go. We've got our 10 millimeter, the golden socket. Um, to go ahead and take off the bolts that we need to, we start with the second one down. There's one up here. That doesn't do anything for us. We're gonna go with this one here at the top and the one all the way at the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and remove those. All right, then you should be able to just pull this out. Hopefully, we're gonna see. It kind of comes out a little bit this way and you should be able to just pull it on out of there. There, that's it. They really did pull out rather easily. Now, a couple of things. When you pull these out on these little nubs here, there are little retainers that sit inside the uh, truck frame. You wanna make sure that those stay in the truck frame and if they came out, just go ahead and pull them off here and put them back in because that's where the old ones are gonna plug in. Now, all we have to do is disconnect the wiring. We should be able to turn counterclockwise and pull these uh, bulbs out. So, I'm gonna start at the bottom. That'd be the reverse light. And then the middle, and then the top. And that was pretty simple. And then there are retainers in here along the light, uh, which I'm not sure if you can see. There's one right there. The one right here that hold the wiring in, we should have some kind of a matching setup on the new one to do that. So that's where the long or thicker part of this wire is going to be held in. So they just pull out, that's very simple, like so. And now our OEM tail light is free. Now, we do need to transfer these little clips onto the new lights. Uh, so let's go ahead and get those turned around the right way. Make sure that we actually have the right unit and it looks like we do point you down here a little so you can see what I'm doing there you go now we're gonna go ahead and pull these clips up as I said and we're gonna relocate them uh, you may need a little screwdriver or something just to help pull them out you can't do it by hand we're gonna see if I can do it by hand Yep, there you go, came off pretty easy. Go ahead and transfer those on to the new lights. Make sure that we get them located in there properly because obviously the screw uh, is going to go into this bracket. So you wanna make sure you have it clearing uh, the area that you need it to clear on the inside like so, if you can see, but the screw will go right in there. So make sure you get that right. Um, do the second one. Okay, there is a little a wire almost like thing in the inside of here. You kind of have to wedge that up to get this one out of the bottom. It was uh, rather difficult. I hope I didn't damage it. I don't think I did. Uh, you're gonna wanna push it back down if you pull it up like I did. We're gonna go ahead and slide this back on now. Uh, and that's it. Once you have it screwed in there, it won't matter because it's going to be screwed down through here. So that really won't make that much of a difference. But you do want to make sure, again, that you line it up in the hole. If you push it all the way down like this, it's actually below the plastic on the light. You won't be able to screw in the screw. So just to make your life a little easier, uh, just make sure that you get that uh, lined up properly on both sides in the hole. Uh, so that your screw obviously will go through and hit that. Okay, now it's time to make the connections. We're gonna, well, first of all, we need to take the bulbs out. So we should just be able to pull the two bigger bulbs out. We're obviously leaving the smaller bulb uh, for the reverse light. So I'm just gonna go ahead and should be able to just pull these straight out. 
There you go, there's one. And here is the other. They come out rather easily. And then we're left with the small uh, light bulb here on the bottom. That's going to go down here in the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and connect up the wiring. First of all, we're going to start with the small bulb on the bottom. You should be able to put that in there. And it does go in rather easily once you get it in the right way. So now uh, we have the middle connector here. We're going to go ahead and plug our new light into the middle connector. See if I can balance this for you guys without dropping it, of course. So we're going to go ahead. You do not disconnect anything else here. Uh, just leave it set in the way that it is. Um, we're going to take a little bit of a guess, make sure that we get it in here properly. Um, because I'm not sure which way it goes, to be honest. I think it goes in this way. And it should just slide right in like so. Pretty easy to do. And then the top one, uh, we're going to go ahead and do the same. And what I'm looking for in here is to make sure that they're making contact uh, with what they're supposed to make contact with inside. Again, I don't know, it doesn't appear there's any rhyme or reason as to lining these up. So you'll know when you turn the truck on if they're in properly. That's it. They're all connected. So now I'm going to turn the lights on and see if indeed, and the four ways, and see if everything lights up that's supposed to. Okay, you guys can see before I did if everything is right. And it is. We have the four-way blinking and we have the light lit up here. If I had it hooked up improperly, uh, the light would not be lit up here. Some of this would be dark. So, got it right. Awesome. Okay, I gave you a quick flash of the brake light there. Hopefully you saw that. I won't be able to see it until I get it on camera. Um, now, all we have to do is reinsert or insert um, the holders, if you will. Tuck the wiring in and insert the holders into the uh, spots that they go in. This is going to be, well, let's see, maybe not as bad as I think. Should be able to slip everything right back inside theory. I'm doing this rather gingerly. So once you get it in, you should be able to turn clockwise and seat it like so. So that seats that one. There. Got lucky there, let me tell you. Those went in uh, really easily. So now we just need to insert the unit back into the space here that flies make sure we tuck the wiring oh actually I forgot there are two little clips down here to hold the wiring in so I want to go ahead and clip the wiring in on the two clips down here one right here and one right here uh, right where the white tape is I think so let's go ahead and do that Another like so there you go that tucks the wiring nice and neatly back in there and that should be it. We should be able to just slip it back in right now, in theory. Let's, uh, let's give that a try. Like that, and then give it a push. And that should uh, get it all nice and lined up in there. So, let's go ahead and do that. There you go. And then we should be able to just tighten it down now. So, let's make sure our bolts fit right. So far, so good. Top one I have lined up properly. It looks like I do. So we'll go ahead and tighten this back down and then I'll do the other side. I'm not going to put the other side on camera because it's the exact same installation. So let's get these tightened down. I'll get the other side in and then we'll take a look at them. Okay, there you go. That's the finished look. Uh, at the end here, I'm going to have some pictures. I'm going to get out in the daylight, take some shots of it um, outside of a kind of a dark garage but anyway that's the look I gotta say it is the look I was going for I love it it looks good and man does it tie in with those black mirrors the black mirror caps uh, you should be able to see that in the pictures at the end um, for anybody that wants to know these came from Cali raised LEDs 
about 240 bucks for the pair. Um, quality wise, excellent fit, easy to install. I didn't have any issues with it. Uh, just be careful with those little clips. Make sure you don't bend them up too much, especially on the one um, that uh, is on the bottom to get off. They do come off, just take a look at them, you'll see how they work. I'm very happy with it, love it. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Should I have kept the OEMs? Or is this better? Also, if anybody's interested and wants to pick up the OEM lights, they are for sale. If anybody wants them, uh, private message me or something. We can talk about price and all that kind of stuff. Also, real quick, if you haven't before and you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motion JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming Tacoma videos. And do me a favor, on the way out, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.